Leaning Towers are captivating, and one in particular has become one of the most famous towers in the world. But there are many even more impressive leaning structures, some planned and some unplanned. This list will start at the most famous leaning tower and build up to the most leaning, leaning building. Grab a hard hat and let's get going. To start off the list, we go to Pisa, Italy. This most famous Romanesque leaning tower is made of marble and stone and stands at about 55 meters tall. For reference, the Statue of Liberty is about 93 meters tall. The bell tower of Pisa leans at an angle of just under four degrees, making it the least leaning tower on this list. So let's move on quickly. The tower that unintentionally leans the most is not the most famous in the world. Germany is full of leaning towers and the bell tower of Suhusen Church tops them all. This 25.7 meter high little brick tower was built in 1450 and today is leaning at about 5.19 degrees. The bell tower and attached church are still functional, but I'm not sure I would enter this teetering tower of bricks without some safety gear. While the towers of Pisa and Suhusen are impressive, towers built intentionally to lean achieve an even greater degree of difficulty. From Europe, we head to Montreal, Canada for the first intentionally leaning tower on this list. The Montreal Tower was planned for the 1976 Olympics, but wasn't finished till about 10 years later. Despite its rocky start to life, at 165 metres, or about 1.8 Statues of Liberty, the tower holds the honour of being the world's tallest inclined tower. The tower leans at a jaw-dropping 45 degrees, which is allowed for by the wide triangular skirt of the tower's base. Even more impressive than a leaning tower though, is a leaning building. But what's the difference? A building is intended to be mostly habitable, while a tower serves other functions, such as aiding visibility or communication. For a structure to be eligible as a building for a Guinness Book of World Records award, it has to have at least 50% usable floor space, otherwise it qualifies as a tower. Before we get to the most leaning building in the world, a couple of honourable mentions. In Melbourne, Australia, the Marina Tower is a two-pronged residential building with a lean of five degrees, slightly less than Germany's old church. The towers are conjoined until level 21 and then split off, leaning in opposing directions to soar up to a height of 135 metres, or about 1.45 Statues of Liberty. Madrid, Spain, host twin buildings with three times more lean though. The Gate of Europe is twin office buildings with a height of 114 meters. These buildings each have a monumental lean of 15 degrees. The tips of the buildings reach out a whopping 30 meters from their base. However, all of the buildings so far on the list are outstripped by our final bendy building. In Abu Dhabi, UAE, Wiggling out of the skyline is the farthest leaning building in the world. The Capital Gate Tower is a 160 metre tall skyscraper and leans an enormous 18 degrees. This translates to a huge 33 metres overhang from the tip of the tower to the base. Standing at the base of this building and looking up truly is a dizzying experience. A marvel of engineering Capital Gate has three main features of its construction that allow for its noodle-like appearance. First, the foundations of the building are 490 piles driven into the ground at varying depths. On the leaning side, these piles absorb the downwards pressure created by the overhang. On the other side, the piles are deeper to resist the force of the tower being pulled out of the ground. Second, the tower is built around a core which is off-centred at the top and the bottom. The core was intentionally built to have a lean opposite to that of the building, which became straightened as the structure was completed. This design adds tension between the core and the outer structure, which oppose each other by pulling in opposite directions to create a stable lean. And third, a steel diagrid allows the building to resist bending and twisting and helps to uniformly distribute pressure. Leaning buildings from history tell us a lot about the level of construction and engineering at the time they were built. 
whether that be slightly dodgy because the tower started leaning, or commendable that a leaning tower can still stand. Leaning structures built today showcase the cutting edge of what's possible in the design and execution of skyscraper construction. And as materials and new construction techniques continue to develop, the leaning buildings of the future will continue to blow our minds. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video and check out my other videos here. Thanks for watching.